Okay, as promised, there is an easy shortcut to get you to go between plus cylinder and minus cylinder. So let's look at this example where we have, say, plus 3, plus 2, axis 90. Okay, it's a three-step um, process because there's three parts to the equation. So you have one step for each part. So step one is add two numbers together. So we're going to be going from plus cylinder to minus cylinder here. And it works if you go from minus to plus, as we'll show. So step one is to add the first two numbers together, plus 3 and plus 2 equals plus 5. Second step is change the sign of the second number. So the second number is plus 2, so that just goes to minus 2. And then the third part is add or subtract 90 to or from the third number. And you have to add or subtract because these numbers have to stay between uh, 1 and 180. So if we subtracted 90 um, from 90, we'd get 0, which isn't good. So we have to add it. So times 180. So that is how you go from plus cylinder to minus cylinder. And it works the other way as well. So let's take an example where we have, um, I'm going to say, plus 250 minus 1 axis 20. And we want to convert that to plus cylinder. All right, so what do we do? Step one, we add the first two numbers together. Plus 250 and minus 1 is plus 150. Step two, change the sign of the second number. We change minus 1 to plus 1. And step three, add or subtract 90 to or from the third number. Um, if we subtracted 90, we'd have minus 70. So we have to add 90 to get us 110. Okay. So that's how we go from minus cylinder to plus cylinder. And then to check our work, we can like go back from plus cylinder to minus cylinder. Step one, add the first two numbers together. Plus 150 and plus 1 is plus 250. Change the sign of the second number. Add or subtract 90 from the 2 or from the third number. And then we get um, plus 250 minus 1 axis 20, which these two among you will notice is the same. So it works. So this is a quick and easy way to just flip-flop from plus cylinder to minus cylinder. Thanks.